Hi guys, it's me, Fox. Uh, as you might notice, uh, you can see me a bit better now. I'm not entirely sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but someone uh, on the YouTube mentioned that I should be using expensive cameras. So I'm keeping my cell phone in the pocket and I'm using expensive cameras. These days I'm spending a lot of time on front of the CNC and I got annoyed with the amount of chips I was making and the places in which those chips were stuck. Um, mainly it was vice, inside the vice and around the clamps and uh, washing them off was a bit tricky and a bit time consuming. So I thought I could uh, improve this by covering everything and I thought I could make it uh, pretty at the same time. And maybe a bit of a uh, side fight. Take a look, let me know what you think. Who thinks it was overkill? Me. Um, I needed a test case to test the cameras and the new black uh, background. So I thought it was a pretty good opportunity to do some experiments, especially since I changed all the pipeline of making videos, software, cameras and so on. So now it's way more tricky. And I really like to have the black background. Uh, the covers so when I'm shooting something it should be just focus on the part I'm cutting and there's nothing else and it's kind of practical because um, all the dirt and stuff shouldn't be as visible on black um, feather perhaps anodized black aluminium but who knows now I want to show you how it looks with the coolant on it's pretty cool Wasn't it cool? I like this a lot. I think it's awesome. Um, yeah, I definitely gonna keep it. Uh, maybe do some improvement on it uh, eventually. But first, I have to see how it works. And so far, I think it's the coolest thing I've done so far. And it's practical and sexy. I <laughs> know it. Here I have a vise with the sliding part inside. Uh, to prevent chips falling in and uh, you know nesting there and uh, obstructing the parallels. Uh, so I'll show you how I done it. I'm gonna move the device closer, hold it, take it, and now I can remove it. So it's a piece of acrylic with the magnet it's um, how to say a prototype uh, so I didn't put much uh, thought I mean I put much thought into it but uh, I haven't made it out of aluminium or anything yet uh, not sure if I will have to so how it grabs the twink and it's in, and it slides. So it's uh, it's a quite easy way of uh, mounting it to the vise without screwing it. Um, so yeah, if I need to move the vise or I have something strange or in any case, yeah, I can always remove those uh, panels from in between the vise, any of them. Yeah, the covers. Uh, so I made it like that. So again, two magnets, um, and it slides on. 
So yeah, and that thing is to prevent the chips going into those holes in here um, and packing the screw and, and eventually and after some time it, it just really hard to open it um, because there is so many chips in it. So I made this to prevent it and I hope it will work. So you've seen how it's made more or less and let's give a test drive on some parts I have to do. And here it is. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the whoopsie, um, device open so the water will be f with chips flowing around them, and that's why I made the the cover. Um, so I have to trim this uh, rough cut uh, stock. There's uh, six pieces. Um, to be equal so i'm gonna do this operation first then i'm gonna flip it without the uh, right angle and as you can see i'm using the granite right angle um i really like granite because it doesn't move the rust and it's uh, very precise if it's precisely done and that one is yep <sighs> let's begin Oh well, the cover get uh, carried away. Uh, my bad. I supposed to screw that thing in, uh, but I didn't. Let's see how clearing chips is working. So I have um, some of them, you know, here and there, and now I'm gonna move the spindle manually and uh, try to wash them away let's see I have to say that was uh, quite easy and I really like the result. There is no chips. I like it. I hope this video give you some ideas on pimping your own CNC machines. Um, while I was making it, I got quite a few myself and um, I definitely have to say that uh, soon I'm gonna sci-fi the living shit out of it. So stay tuned and see you next time.